Thank you. Everyone, patient. Woohoo! We finally got it. Hey, hey. All right. Hello, everybody. Okay. Sorry about the delay. We ended up with some awesome technical issues that we love technology for. Yeah, trying to change channels and link things up and get everything working correctly. Trying to serve you guys as best as we can. So um, today's workout is a little bit slower pace, more of a diplomat pace. As much as I love training and I'm well conditioned, I'm much better at um, withstanding a lot of different training styles. So my body's a lot more adapted to that. But what we do know is that um, anybody, a lot of people may find some of the trainings that we've been doing to be, especially for an endomorph, like a guardian or a diplomat, you may find that sometimes it exhausts you and it might make you feel a little bit like ill or tired afterwards. And we don't really want that. We want you guys to be like revitalized. So this training session is for all health types but it is a slower pace, more designed for our diplomats and our guardians to give you guys that more recovery time and that ability for the body to be like, oh yeah, we like this. So today, bear with, embrace your pace. If you're an activator or a connector or a crusader, maybe you could try, try doing some extra reps if you want to speed things up. But we're going to be going through the movements and we're going to be making sure that we are doing slow pace down through the movement, reach the base of our movement, pause for a moment and push back up. And you'll also notice in there that I have a wall hold, which is super important for our guardians and our diplomats because our knees, our legs, our ligaments can actually be one of our, sorry, this camera is just not giving me, it's not working. Um, and these can actually be one of our weakest points. So if you're doing things like wall holds and isometrical holds, will actually be greatly beneficial to stabilizing our strong legs that hold our body up so well. So today's session is really designed around that. So what I wanted to do is get you guys to warm up a little bit, just going through and doing um, sort of our typical inchworms and whatnot. Does it turn off an alarm that's about to jump on? Wood. Okay, so just gonna do some normal warming up. So we're just gonna go in with some star jumps. Let's start with, um, Let's go with 30 star jumps. We really love with these star jumps. And the reason why I really like it is because it actually enables us, especially if you're doing a bit of office work still, or maybe you're sitting at home hunched over. These activities are really great for uh, mobilizing the, the limbs, so the shoulders, the chest. We hold a lot of tension in our neck unknowingly. And what these sorts of movements really help us to do is alleviate that tension and tightness. All right, so let's go in for some rollouts, some rollouts of inch ribs, knees, feet, shoulder width, and we're gonna walk all the way out, come all the way back in. So you guys should be getting used to these ones by now. Dropping down, walking it out, picking our bum up, walking our hands back in, finding our flat feet, standing up, squeeze the glutes. Coming back down, walking back out, all the way down to the ground, coming back up, lift the bum, walk it back, walk it back, walk it back, lift, 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 and squeeze and stand up. Two, keep it going, bring the bum back up. Nice, right, so we've got two more. Last one, come on, all the way through, touch down, step it out, walk it out, touch, front leg up, walk it back through. Nice. How good does it feel to have the whole body working? All right, so I'm warming up now, which is great. Air conditioning definitely gets me these days. Okay, so walking back through, we're going to do, remember to disembark any crystals or anything that may knock you. I do this every time. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go back into our star jumps again. Let's go, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, loose up the shoulders, actively think about relaxing your neck, relaxing your shoulders. 
the lamps and through uh, the tension to come out of that area through the top part of our body. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming forward, let's go into our inch worm, walking our way out. So bending over, walking your hands forward. We're going to get to five in total. Touch the ground. Inch our way back up. Stand up. Coming down, stepping all the way out. Touch the ground. Bum up. Push back, push back, push back, push back. Good. Who's watching with us? Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Hey, Francine. It's been a long time since I've seen you, darling. It's been a long time. How is everything? Today, just a bit of a fitness profile for fitness program for all of our guardians and our diplomats. A little more slow paced. Yes, we're doing jumping jacks right now, but today I want to do a fitness program. The rest of the program, once we've got the body mobile, will actually be just a little bit more about going to your own pace. A little more time under tension. How's the body feeling? Some more time under tension and just give me your whole body a bit more time to feel the weight. Because for our guardians and our diplomats, it's super important that we feel the weight, right? Our body naturally feels safe when we are heaviest. So naturally holding weights on our body gives our body this signal to go, oh, I'm safe. Now I can release the weight. Okay, so... Here's the program. We've got squats, which we will be using dumbbells or chest or barbells or um, whatever you've got. We're going to be doing chest press. Now, you can do the chest press on the ground, but what I'm going to do today, I've got a resistance band, and we're going to use this resistance band around a, a pole or whatever you've got. I've got this pole right here beside me, so I'm going to be doing it with pop the, the band right around the pole. My back nice and secure against the pole. Let me just straighten this one up. There we go. Okay, so my back against the pole. And I'm going to go into the pole. You can go through the doorway. Maybe you've got a partner you can train with at home still. Maybe pressing it out. Control, two, three, back here. Press all the way out. Control, keep the shoulders away from your ears. We're going to spend, we're doing reps of eight, so you can go a little bit heavier, because we're not going to 12 or 13 or 14. We're spending a little bit more time under tension. Two, three, four, come back. Two, three, four, out. Okay, does that make sense? Then we're going to bend over rows. So if you've got a pole at home to work with, this workout will be perfect for you because what you can do, you can use the pole or a wall to lean your backside against and come in for our row without moving the body, right? Okay? So we're going to be doing our bent over rows using dumbbells or barbells, whichever one feels best for you. Yes, that'll help me there. Okay. Dumbbells or barbells. So we're going to go against the wall here, and we're going to roll up, squeeze two, and then come back down. So we're going to one, two, three, four, hold. Two, three, four, release. Two, three, four, hold. Okay, and then we're going to go into a plank. We all know what a plank looks like. Okay, so let's start off three rounds, eight reps. So first one, we're going into a squat. Today, I'm going to be using some kettlebells. Chose the heavy one, 16 kilos each one. From here, if you are using dumbbells, you can use them at your shoulders. You can use them in narrow, however which way you wish to. I'm going to do a bit of a front squat. Coming down, one, one, two, three, four. Coming down, two, three, four. Chest up, shoulders to back. Three, so go nice and heavy. Squeeze the bottom way up. I'll turn it side on, it's halfway. So here, chest up, shoulders back. Moving through the movement, bump goes down. Tuck. Come up. The good thing about doing a front squat where the, where the weight is at the front of your body is it forces you two, three, four. See, so it's a much slower pace. 
So the thing with having it at the front is the fact that it's forcing the body to want to go forward. To counteract that, we have to naturally have our core tight, our back on to keep ourselves upright. So you can see why that one is such a really favorable exercise. Now, if you don't have a band to do your chest, then your next best option will be a push up. And the push up would be on your hands and feet, and it'll just be one, two, three, four, come down two, three, four, push up, start again. So if you don't have a band and you're just doing this body weight, not a problem, just use your body. So I'm gonna use the band for something a bit different because I've got it. So turning around, get yourself set, the tension across both hands evenly. And from here, we're gonna push up, one, two, three, four, extend. Control, two, three, four, back. Add uh, everything nice and tight. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four for the chest press. Two, three, four with the band. Two, and same with the push-ups, guys. If you haven't got a band, you can absolutely use just push-ups. Four, one, two, three, four. Halfway, two, three, four, two, three. And make sure when you're coming back, don't just come back. Try and tuck your shoulder blades behind your body. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. And the good thing about these bands is you can get all different tensions for all of them. This kind of road, like I said, you can do them freestanding if you wish to, but it's a cool idea to be just off the wall, bring your bum back, touch the wall, bend over, make sure you've got a nice straight angle along your spine. And from here, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Bring it up, two, three, one, two, three, four. Really feel the muscles. Four, squeeze, two, three, four. Release, two, three, four. Someone's calling me, two, three, four. Release, squeeze back, two, three. This is really good because it really enabled you to feel the muscle. Last one. Squeeze tight and release. Bring them down. The last movement is a plank. And I'm going to let you guys do this for as long as you can. Try and go at least 30 seconds. I'd love to see you guys go a minute with me. We're going to go down, hold for as long as you can. Aim for the minute. If you need to drop down and come back up again, that is absolutely fine. Absolutely fine, guys. Do what you can. Coming out. On your elbows, up nice and tall, tuck your shoulder blades away, chest up, looking for looking at your fingertips. Doing good guys, push on through. If you start to find it really, really tough, maybe you think about tapping your fingers, the tap, little pinky, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, thumb, other hand, thumb. Pointed finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, pinky, ring finger, and work your way back through your fingers as a cool distraction. Halfway. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your bum, squeeze your thighs, squeeze everything. Our last quarter. Three, two, and down. Stretch and come up. Whew. How that one feel, guys? Feel good? Feel through all the muscles? <sighs> How good does it feel 
to go a bit slower and really concentrate on contracting the muscles. Cool enough, but when we're doing the press to push forward, it's squeezing it down and forward. And we're really focusing on these muscles and pulling tight. When we're doing the back ones, we're really squeezing it back and we're, we're pulling them up and we're controlling them and really trying to get, you can just come back and that's fine. But what you're gonna be doing is actually squeezing the muscles back and really focusing on those muscles. You have time, focus on those muscles and squeeze them back as tight as you possibly can. Okay, all right, so let's get back into it. Our next round, round two. So squats again. All right, so facing on, we're just doing eight reps, guys. Feet shoulder width or wider. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go four seconds down. Squeeze the bum at the top. Two, three, four. Four. Nice work. Three, four, up. Come on, bring that core tight. Four, nice work, last one. Two, three, four, squeeze the butt, come back up. All right, chest press again. You wanna vary up, I did the one on the band before. We'll do one more round of that. The next round I'm gonna do it as a push up so everyone can see the two different versions. So again, back again to the hold, core in tight. Deep breath and from here. One will actually flick the outer band over the top and the underband on my arm. So squeeze forward, control, tuck your shoulder blades back. You might even have to pop your chest out so you can really work on tucking the shoulder blades back against the wall or the pole. And back. One, two, three. Four, squeeze, and back. Two, three, four, squeeze, and back. Two, three, four, squeeze, and back. Two more. Two, three, four, squeeze, and back. It's a very different movement from push-ups and dumbbells or barbells. Is you're forcing, especially at that full stretch, all of your muscles are fighting and they've got a continuous. Yes, when you're pushing a heavy weight, you're pushing and you get the hearing for all the weight, but you're stuck with the band, it's full tension. So it's absolutely incredible for really building out um, solid engagement with the muscles. Next, we're going to the bench over, sorry, the, the, um, the wall holds. Okay, we've got that on the first time, Sharma. Wall hold, the same as a plank, we're gonna go for a minute. So, feet shoulder width apart, back and bum against the wall, shoulder blades against the wall. And we're just gonna hold this for a minute. If you want, you can add some weight to really put a bit more pressure through. I've been talking, so we're almost 30 seconds now. Uh, these are great for stabilizing the knees, guys. Last 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come up. Work your way up the wall. How good does that feel? Okay, again, feet shoulder width apart. Pivot at the hip, we're not hunching. We're pivoting at the hips, bend forward. Swap knees. From here, the dumbbells are at your knees. And we're going to straight spine, we're going to squeeze back. Four, two, three, four, one. 
four, squeeze the shoulder blades back, two, three, four. Four, squeeze, two, three, four. Three. Squeeze, and one of the guys was asking, what are these dumbbells I'm using? Two, three, four, these are what they call new bells. They're actually a dumbbell that's actually completely round. Completely round. Good distraction there, buddy. Good distraction. Back down here. Keep going, guys. If you're going at home, push on through. Four, two, three, four. Control the drop. Two, three, four. Control the drop. Nice. From here, we are down into our plank. I'll go side on for you guys. For this round, so feet, shoulder width. On your elbows, bum down, squeezing all over, shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your legs, squeeze your belly, squeeze your back. Keep it all nice and tight. Nice and tight. That's 30 seconds. If you find you're really struggling, you can sit there and rock backwards and forwards on your toes if you need to. But generally, looking forward at your fingers, squeeze your legs, squeeze your bum, squeeze your belly, breathe. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, drop your knees. Stretch and come up. Oh. So more time under tension. We are doing heavy weights. We're spending more time under tension. The muscles are getting a lot more engaged. But you can see how when you're doing faster pace stuff, so why it's kind of good to do them uh, body weight or lighter weight with more reps is because you're balancing and it's high energy. This here actually requires a lot more focus, a lot more dedication to the movement. So really pushing forward, squeezing it, then squeezing it right the way back, locking it into place, set, pushing forward. So all activities are all fully engaged the whole time. Diplomats and guardians are terrible procrastinators, but we're also really bad for jumping into our head. The slow and steady pace of this really means that we're really having to focus on engaging. And the muscles are spending more time under tension, which is requiring much more engagement of the energy sources within the muscles to keep them working right, because they're spending longer time dealing with the force. Makes sense. All right, round three, let's go. Ooh, I think I've myself on those ones. Let's go the lighter weight ones this round. Okay, so dumbbells, new bells, barbells, whatever you might have at home, cans, children, to the front, because these ones are different. Oh, I like this. Just have shoulders back. The good thing about this position here is it's forcing me to use my shoulder blades down and back. So two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, push, come up. Two, three, four, pause, push, come up. Two, three, four, that's five. Two, three, four, come up, that's six. Oh, well, it's hurting my hands. On those ones. <laughs> Let's go, seven. Push up. Deep breath in. Last one, tight, 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 tight. Come down, pause. Let's go slow, 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 slow. Squeeze the bum, standing tall. Over here, we're going for a chest press. Let's do the push up on this round. I'm going to show you guys the push up. I'll go on a five view for you. Okay, hands where it's comfortable. Shoulders are above your hands, up onto your toes, coming down one, two, three, four, touch, come back up, coming down one, two, three, four. Guys who are well adverse to push ups, you'll just be straight body down, two, 
three, four, and straight back up as a plank. Halfway. Really allow that one to squeeze the whole way. Push and come up. Two, three, four, and back up. Last one. Two, three, four. Woo. Push, squeeze those muscles, come back up. Good job, guys. Bend over rows for this one. Tell me, who likes this pace better? I'd love to know who enjoys this pace compared to the other ones. Fast pace, or are we liking the slow pace? What's everyone's vote? For me, bending over, using the wall, because the good thing about this is if I'm doing it freestanding, what more you might see do is I start swaying their body. Here is the wall. I know when I'm swaying because everything moves. So from here, more concentrated. Two, three, four, squeeze. Two, three, four. Squeeze. Two, four. Squeeze. Two, three, four. Squeeze. That's five. Squeeze. That's six. Try not to be squeezing through your neck. Bring it back into the shoulders. Do one more with good luck. Squeeze and release it slowly, slowly, slowly. Nice job. All right, our last plank. So we need to do a wall hold. Let's throw it in. Can't miss the wall hold. Let's throw that one in. Let's go for it. Chest up, shoulders back. Me forgetting something is really going to be doing up people's heads. All the activators and the crusaders will be like, this is not following the rules. Connectors won't mind, they like something different and variety. Guardians and diplomats will just be cursing doing it. <laughs> oh. Good. Breathe through it. If you start to wobble, Maybe come up onto your toes. Maybe come up onto your heels. Change the position. Push it hard. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Work your way up or drop to the ground. Do we prefer? Good job. All right. Our last plank and then we're just in conditioning. And what I mean by conditioning is we're going into a phase where it is more high pace, more high energy. We've done our heavy lifting. We've warmed our entire body up. Everything is ready to rock and roll. Halfway. Tight, squeeze the bum, squeeze the belly. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze everything. Last 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop the knees. Stretch it out. Coming up. Ooh. All right. Finish it off. Today we're going to keep, make sure I'm only on here for 30 minutes. What's our time check? What's our time check? All right. We're going to quickly finish off because we started late. We'll quickly finish off with some conditioning. I'm going to do one round. I implore you guys to go through and do multiple rounds. So we're only going to do, we're going to do 50 star jumps. I'm going to do 20 V sits just to make sure you guys know how to do it. 20 high knees, let's just do 20, 20 of each. 20 star jumps, 20 V sets. One, two, three, four, six, seven. If you're watching at home, do your 50. Maybe you've got time. 19, 20 V sets. We'll do them on the side so you guys can see the side of the profile. From here, coming up. One, two, 
You want to be tricky, if you find these easy, don't fully touch the ground, just come hover and come straight back up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost there, 19, ooh, 20, good job, coming up, and we're in four, 20 high knees, this will be a fast one, ready, set, go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, up nice and high, planking jacks, planking position, and we're doing star jumps with our legs. Let's go for 20. Set. I'll come back here. On your elbows. Feet out. And go. One, two, three, four. Try not to bring your bum up too far. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. 16, Good job. And skip. Let's go. 20 skips. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo. Good job, guys. We did have a delayed start today. Very sorry again for the technology issues. These do happen from time to time. But um, love to hear you go. Like I said, we finished off and rushed through that last section. I would like you to do 50 of each. And maybe if you've got time, do two rounds. It's the conditioning phase. So the first section, we did the weights and the muscles really, really like feeling it the whole way through. And the second session is where we exhaust all the energy. We give us a good finisher to finish strong with and get into it. So let's get through some stretches. Let's just go through and reach for the ground. Stretch out so that stretches through all of these back muscles. Stretch down. Allow the body to draw. <sighs> Deep breaths. Rocking forwards and backwards. This is getting up the back of the legs as well. If you want, straighten the backs of the legs. Come up. And allow that stretch from the back, through the hamstrings. From here. Coming up, leg wide. Let's work our way down our legs again to the ankles if you can. Come over, let's reach the right, pull to the center. Coming out, let's reach one arm forward, one arm back. This one back here, can you see it waiting? Tail feather, stretch it forward, stretch it back. Up, windmill over. See it breathing. Coming up, windmill the other way. Going forward, stretch it forward, stretch it back. Come to the ankle, pull to the center. We're going to do the squat. Stretch the arms up. Stretch the arms back behind. Pivoting at the hips. Arms backwards, stretch that chest. Twist to one side, twist to the other side. Squeezing back, take it nice and wide. Good stretch to the chest. Shake it out, guys. Good job. Oh, how was that? I enjoyed that. I'm definitely sweating quite well. I don't feel like my um, lymphatic system is and my uh, adrenals are having an absolute shock fit. 
they actually feel like they're quite calm and collected. I feel strong. I feel like I've used everything. Um, this style of training is definitely what guardians and diplomats much prefer, all in good time. Um, but if you've got activators or connectors or crusaders that need a little bit more vigor, then in between each activity, maybe you could sit there and do star jumps while we're chatting. Enjoy the ride, guys. I'd love to hear your feedback. Have a great, wonderful afternoon.